lot of friends on the West Coast who are into like witchy, hippie shit, like astrology and crystals and vision boards, you know, like a collage of things you want to manifest. <laughs> I kind of believe in it, but I've never made one because I just feel like it'd be super embarrassing if mine were just five dicks and a Comedy Central logo. <laughs> As a female comedian, I get trolled a lot on the internet by these weird guys who live in basements. And like, <laughs> before you get mad at me, I just wanna say that I'm sure that there are also some really great guys who live in basements. <laughs> Not all basement men. <laughs> Look, some of them don't hate women, they just hate windows, but... <laughs> I've seen guys saying such misogynistic stuff, like, oh yeah, women, they just wanna marry you, divorce you, and then take half your stuff. And I'm just like, bro, there are such easier ways to get half a bag of Doritos. <laughs> I feel like Me Too has really brought a lot of these guys out of the woodwork. Like whenever there's a celebrity sexual assault news story, I'll see all these dudes say something like, yeah, but how do we know that all these situations are really sexual assault. How do we know that some of them aren't just bad sex? But I'm like, how bad would the sex have to be <laughs> for someone's reaction to it to be like, I need to take this to the press? <laughs> Like, if the sex is that bad, that kind of would be newsworthy. <laughs> I had some pretty disgusting sex a few weeks ago, and I did not alert Anderson Cooper. I did call a few of his ex-girlfriends to see why they put up with it, but once I was giving this acquaintance a ride home, and he was like, do you want to have sex? And I was like, no. And then he was like, but I have a really big dick, though. And I was like, okay, that wasn't my main reservation. <laughs> and then he was like, here, I'll show you. Yeah, and then he took it out and it was definitely sexual harassment and it was also definitely just a regular dick. <laughs> <laughs> Which in some ways was the part that I thought was weirder, you know, like, <laughs> look, I am a feminist, I am true to my principles, I am not gonna body shame anybody. I'm just saying that there was no logical reason that he should have thought that I would look at this and be like, that's a game changer. <laughs> There's so many guys that are like showing their dicks to people, so many unsolicited dick pics, and it's like, I've been thinking a lot about why men do this, and you know what? It's like, I'm not trying to blame women, but I will say that I don't think that we are helping anything when we have sex with men. That's it. <laughs> no, when we have sex with men, like, we'll say stuff to them. We'll be like, oh, it's so big, or oh, it's so perfect, you know? And it's like, maybe you're a guy and you just hear that stuff enough times and you start thinking like, damn, maybe I should show this to a few more people. <laughs> We're like accidentally being stage moms. Just like, get out there, sweetie. <laughs> you can do it. So I feel like it's time for women to stand together in sisterhood and solidarity and perhaps give out a little bit more like measured feedback, you know? <laughs> I'm definitely not saying mean, but just like, oh, that's in the average range or no visible diseases there. Um, <laughs> that is similar in size and shape to a lot of your friends, you know? <laughs> I think that slut shaming is a huge problem in our culture and a lot of it is coming from my mom. <laughs> She'll say these things like, oh, I think it's really sad that women today will hook up with these loser guys who just leave. But I'm like, I think that's a lot better than the days when women hooked up with loser guys who just stayed. <laughs> I know that I have certainly never woken up next to a DJ and thought to myself, thank God he's still here. <laughs> like if this was 40 years ago, I probably would not even be doing stand-up right now. I would probably be married to some kind of deadbeat, alcoholic dude, and I'm not because I was lucky enough to be born in a time where most deadbeat alcoholic dudes are not really looking to commit. <laughs> People used to get married way too young. Like my mom got married when she was 20. If I got married when I was 20, I would be married to a guy right now because at some point he just like had weed, you know? <laughs> and now, 
I'm older, I'm wiser, I know to hold out for a guy who like has acid, like <laughs> someone spiritually evolved. <laughs> My grandparents were married for 65 years, but they hated each other for like 40 of that. And I don't even think that you should sleep with someone that you hate more than like twice. <laughs> you can go in once for lust and then you can go back one more time for some answers, but <laughs> you gotta cut it off there. The worst part was, there was no way to get out of a bad situation. Like, if you were with a guy who wasn't treating you right, you kind of just had to hope that he got drafted. <laughs> Not all situations are meant to last forever. Like, I was hooking up with this one guy for a little while, maybe like six years, and... <laughs> Everything about that situation was unequal. He'd be like, I don't want to talk about feelings, but he meant my feelings. Like, he would stay up all night talking to me about how his dad left when he was a little boy. <laughs> I am a kind person. I tried very hard to be supportive, but I got to be honest, around year four of that, I really started to see why the dad took off. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't reciprocal sexually either. Like... You know, he wasn't putting any effort in, so I started faking my orgasms so that he would not feel bad about himself. You know, I would just be like, uh-uh, uh, your jokes are really funny. And <laughs> eventually I decided, you know what? I need to tell this guy the truth. I need to get right with myself and with God, really. So <laughs> I sat him down and I was like, look, okay, you never prioritized my pleasure. So I need you to know that I actually faked all my orgasms with you. And he was so mad. He was like, how can you just tell me that? And I'm like, okay, I didn't just tell you that. I also told a lot of other people. <laughs>